She insists that she wants to pay on the first date. I'd say green flag. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here with my friend Sergio. What's up? We met each other through church. Absolutely. Good man, wholesome man. I try to be. What's your occupation? I'm working for a construction company. It's a lot of IT stuff, really. What's your age? I am 26 years old. Relationship <laughs> status? Uh, single. I'm excited to hear your takes here. So if you haven't seen the videos already, we're going to start with the light and fun topics and ending with the more heavy and controversial. And this all revolves around either relationships or personal finance. Okay. The person you're dating talks with her mouth full. That is definitely a red flag. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's just bad manners. Bad table manners. I think I grew up with people who ate with their mouth full. Did you? Maybe it's an, an Asian, a Filipino culture thing. I like, mean, it could be, yeah. <laughs> yeah. My father made sure like I, I knew not to eat with my mouth open or uh, talk with my mouth full. Did you so. have like a pretty disciplinary upbringing? Yeah. Disciplined upbringing? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, I, especially like when I was young, for sure. She washes her Chinese takeout boxes. Like the like the one when they give you like kind of free Tupperware, yeah, basically. Yeah, the, yeah, the like the black yep. Tupperware with the clear top on. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's a green flag. I'm Hispanic, right? And us yeah. Hispanics, we we're we're very resourceful and very uh, efficient with how we reuse things. Yeah, I mean, I was raised stuff. washing the red Solo cups. Really? Yeah, we'd wash them. That's a first. I've ne I've actually <laughs> never heard of that. <laughs> but also another funny story. When my dad first came to America, he used to wash his styrofoam like plates and cups. Wait, wait okay, okay. <laughs> the styrofoam, that's a little crazy. That's a little like, that's a little much for me. But if it's like the red solo cups, I could yeah, get Yeah, those are a little more sturdy. Yeah, I, I can get behind that a little more, but not the styrofoam stuff. Yeah. Do you ever tell your dad? You're just, have you ever told your dad? You're just like, hey, dad, like, that's kind of weird. Oh, yeah, no. He figure that out yeah it was when he was like just fresh off the boat unaware okay <laughs> she gets her nails done every two weeks bro i like <sighs> everyone has their thing right I'll, I'll say red flag like every two weeks like is it is it really that necessary mm -hmm. two weeks like i just like i know we're a couple guys here so we might not be accurate but i think that's like it could be like 60 bucks yeah like as like on the cheaper end too. Yeah. I guess it also depends on how much they make too. That That is true. I mean, if I made a stupid amount of money, yeah. like I'm sure I'd be doing something like- Yeah, if you did, not what, what's like a, what's like a self-care thing you'd do if you were earning like oh, multiple my six guilty figures pleasure. or seven figures? My guilty yeah. pleasure that it would definitely be like buying skins or like like extra cosmetic stuff from like video games. And what <laughs> <laughs> that surprised me. That would be my- stupid pleasure <laughs> for me once like my wife and i level up we'll probably get regular monthly massages Ooh, i mean that's not too bad when we do have enough too we'll just call them up to come to our place the masseuse dude i don't i don't think that's bad at all i mean yeah. honestly if i could afford that i'd be getting a massage once a month too she insists that she wants to pay on the first date that you asked her on I'd say green flag on yeah. that. I mean, it, I, I think it shows personally that um, she's considerate and, you know, that she's also showing like selflessness. If I was in that particular situation, I probably would insist too that I pay. That's was about to say, bro. Yeah. I, I would insist harder. Yeah, yeah. I, I would, would I say would, yeah. I'm going to the bathroom and then <laughs> just pay for it before she has a chance. <laughs> I wouldn't hate that, honestly. I yeah. think it shows a lot of character in her. What's something that you geek out about? Like the Harry Potter universe, like Lord of the Rings. Oh, man. Yeah, it's like... But I geek out on a lot of things, though. What's like, one thing that, like, grew up with? It's close to your, your soul. Probably, like, superhero stuff. Like, like, like lore behind, like, superhero characters, like Spider-Man. Oh, oh okay. Spider-Man's, like, something that I geek out about a lot. Like, I used to know... I used to have a lot of knowledge behind, like, Spider-Man comic books and, mm -hmm. like, the... like. The, the story behind them. She's never like, heard of Spider-Man. Red flag. <laughs> <laughs> Huge red flag. <laughs> okay. All right. Heavy and controversial. Let's go. You ready? I'm ready for it. Okay. Give me all of them. <clears throat> okay. She doesn't have your same beliefs. Uh, well, what do you mean by that? Do you mean like... So like you're Christian and she's like Muslim mm -hmm. or 
Buddhist. I don't, yeah, like I don't want to say like that's like a red or green flag. Um, that's just something uh, that we have to talk about together. I think if she doesn't believe in my religion because she's in, she's in her own religion, she believes that. I don't think mm-hmm. there's nothing wrong with that. Like I think it's important to have diversity. And the more technical stuff I believe will come later. With any religion, I think nowadays it's really commendable to know anyone that's like passionate about their like faith yeah. or spirituality. Spirituality. All right. Uh, she wants to buy fake boobs when she starts earning six figures. You know, honestly, I, I'll say green flag on that one. I'll say green flag on that one. I will have to say it. Ha- it can't be just anybody working on them, though. They, you know, it has to be somebody who, because you know, want to get, you don't want to end up on botched, right? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Bro. Like, you know, it's got to be someone who knows what they're doing. And you don't like, want this. Yeah. 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 Congrats to her to making six figures, you know? Sugar mama. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Yeah. This thank you. It's been a pleasure. Yeah, it's been awesome. <laughs> Make sure to subscribe if you want to hear more reasonable conversations with great people like Sergio.